Well, number three, Kansas men's basketball has lost to number 22, Tennessee. How in the world did this happen? Besides the first half and second half scoring-wise, Tennessee outscored Kansas 33-25 in the first. Second, 31-25. So Kansas only had 50 points in the game. They only scored 25 apiece. That's a problem, but that's more reason than that why they lost. Kansas shot 32.1% from the field, which they only had 17 makes out of 53 attempts. 5 for 21 on threes, 23.8%. 11 for 17 on, on, on free throws. They only had 27 rebounds in the game. 11 assists, but they had 11 steals, 1 block, 16 turnovers, 14 fouls, and only had 16 points off the bench, which 14 of those came from one guy. I mean, I can't make this stuff up. Tennessee had 21 points off the bench. Tennessee shot 41.5% from the field, 22 for 53 overall, 12 for 27 on threes, which is 44.4%. 8 for 10 on free throws. They didn't get to the line as much, but they made them. I mean, 45 rebounds, 15 of those offensive. 13 assists, 10 steals, which is one less than Kansas, mind you, 4 blocks, but they committed 24 turnovers, and they still won by 14 points? Okay, and they committed 16 fouls, which is more than Kansas in both of the last, the last two categories. So, as you can tell, it's simple. The defense for Kansas couldn't get enough stops, and they allowed too many threes. Besides, those 10 free throws on the NBA, 8 out of 10, I mean. I mean, come on now. So, well, who does Tennessee play next? I expect them to be jumping in the rankings, especially after winning the, ba the battle Bad Boy Meyer Mowers Battle for Atlantis. They're going to play McNeese State next on the 30th. That's a cakewalk, but you never know. I mean... They got Alcorn State. In theory, they should win that game. They got Eastern Kentucky. That should be a win. That's four and three in December seventh. <laughs> December eleventh is against number then currently number twenty three Maryland, which that's not going to be a gimme game. That's the toughest game right there. Then they got at number fourteen Arizona on December seventeenth. Okay, that's just explaining you know, some of the games right there. Now for Kansas. Who do they play next? Texas Southern. They I know they won six, but I know in the past they have been an NCAA tournament team and they have been known to upset people, so you better watch out. But I wouldn't think they would lose, but you never know. December 1st is against Seton Hall. That's currently 4-1 for the Big East Big 12 Challenge. They got Missouri on the road, which I know they're currently undefeated, but you never know about undefeated records. It's no, it's, it could be deceiving based on the opponents. They got number 11, Indiana at home on the 17th. That's just explains some games right there. So as you could tell, Kansas really lost this game pretty bad. It's not like a blowout, but it's not good. I mean, I mean, you don't shoot the ball well and you can't defend. Anyways, I just want to break that down. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's give me the point to subscribers or more by the end of this year or sometime in the future.